Good morning, folks. Hey, it's February the 12th, 2018, and I believe it's time to talk about jig heads and jigs. Very important when it comes to fishing. And uh, just stay with me, and let me go over a few of these things right here. Now, remember, okay, this is only one fisherman's opinion. And that makes fishing, in my opinion, a sport second to none. Topics like this, well, they're opinionated, okay? These are just things that I do on the water that allows me to catch a lot of crappie. Okay, let's start right here. Let's get a shot of this jig right here. And you can see it has a unique feature right here that holds baits on I'm talking about saves you a lot of money in baits it's called the ultimate jig head made by 4x4 four four, okay bass jigs now I use this one a lot in these videos this is by the way this is the 1 16th ounce size okay and there's a lot of different sizes down to, to a little bitty ones okay let's put her that way um and here, let me lay this down. If y'all like to use Berkeley Gulp, you know, this stuff is, is quite expensive. But if you like to use it, I have one pre-rigged right here with a 1 16th ounce ultimate jig head. You talking about holding. Okay, and it this jig right here has a size 4 must-add hook in it. Okay, so it's perfect for this size, in my opinion. Uh, jig. Hey. Now this jig right here has a unique screw lock system. Okay. And um, in past videos, I've, I've showed how to judge your distance and screw the jig in. Now that's a good jig right there, and I use it a whole lot. Okay, folks, here is a traditional jig head. You can buy them anywhere. Okay. And I love using these jigs because they're inexpensive. Fishing under docks or, or areas that has a lot of cover, if you lose one of these jigs, well, you can just tie you another one on. But I don't like this part right here. Okay. It bolts out a jig big time. On some, some jigs uh, that's made bolts out the actual jig more than others so this is something that I come up with years ago a solution to this problem I just take dental floss okay and I'll use it on these jigs and what I'll do is I'll cut this collar off completely off to the bottom of the jig head Okay. Then I'll take this dental floss and wrap around the hook shank. Okay, just like that. Now let's rig a jig up on it. Now what I do is I just take super glue. I like to super glue uh, gel. That way it don't run everywhere. You know, it stays in place. I'll put a little bit of super glue. It don't take much. Okay on this dental floss and then I'll push the the jig head back in place now I'm going to tell you something that right there will prevent slipping another thing it'll do it'll keep the jig streamlined and in its regular form that you that it was when you pulled it out of the pack in other words and that'll cause that jig to come through the water real clean because it's not bulked up right here in this area. Okay, let's get into another jig style. Okay, folks. Uh, this, I'm going back to the ultimate jig head made by 4x4 four by four bass jigs. Now, here's another unique feature about this jig. It has a very short eyelet. In other words, the eyelet is laying right on top of the ball 
of the jig okay head okay the hook is going above the eyelet so when you set the hook which you don't have to do it very hard just a gentle hook sweep to get the job done or just simply keep reeling this hook will immediately penetrate a crappie's mouth but like I said I use all different types of jig heads traditional jig heads like these two right here okay this one right here has a sickle hook in it now and this one has a regular hook in it okay I don't know who made the hook that's why I said that now these hooks this hook point is just about even with the eyelet and on this sickle it's the same way so what I do to remedy remedy that problem is take a pair of pliers and I'll bend the hook up slightly just like I mean it don't have to be much slightly that when you set the hook that will give you instant penetration on these style of hooks uh, jig heads excuse me okay and uh, oh by the way I love a sickle hook especially for vertical jigging okay that, that hook there will hold them crappie I guarantee you okay let's talk a little bit about jigs and uh, there's a lot of different colors as y'all well know that works in clear water which is this is my clear water side and dirty dingy water so I just picked four of my top choices but now this is only by opinion as we all know crappie have a keen eyesight in fact if you look at the fish you can see that crappie have oversized eyes and they basically feed for the most part by eyesight so but this is still just opinion one fisherman's opinion right over here on the left side you can see chartreuse yellow and white solid centered pink and a pink and white combination this is my preferred four for the most part in stained to uh, muddy water conditions now right here on my right side for clear water situations uh, this is blue ice it's a blue color here's another shade of blue ice a monkey milk color see these are these three colors right here to me represent shad thread fin shad and right here is a bluegill color okay real real natural looking color and these colors right here are very important because not only are they natural colors they're what the fish feed on period these colors right here are unnatural colors for the uh, I tell you what but when water is stained because of rainy conditions like today these colors will definitely shine in my opinion versus these normal water conditions for your lake okay let's get into jig types that I like to use on the water okay hey let's talk about jig styles now here's some right here and they're made from Mr. Perry. He makes them. Uh, he's from Texas. He hand ties jigs that watches this channel uh, for a lot of folks. And they, these are great jigs. Now I'm talking about, let me pull one out so you can see it right here. Okay, this particular jig right here is called the Elmo now these jigs is tied up perfectly I love these hand tied custom baits right here at Mr. Perry uh, makes and I tell you what he does a great job perfect job tying them up I love that jig style I like it because I can put uh, power bait soak them in power bait and fish them under a float or cast them both ways I catch fish 
Okay. This is a lip ripper jig right here. It's also made in Texas by a gal out in Dallas, Texas. Now I've caught fish uh, on this one. Very good bait. I like that style. And here's a, a Bobby Garland, which are good baits. And this is one of my favorite, like I said, clear water color, blue eyes. I, I just can't see anything that would beat it in clear water. But Lip Ripper makes a blue eyes too. And I like these baits. Every one that you pull out of the pack, the tails are straight. That's what I like about it. Okay. Now here, these jigs right here are brush pile jigs. Now I've caught uh, a, a couple videos. I've been using these jigs. These right here are good jigs. And they make them in a lot of different styles. This one right here, I consider... I'm an old timer, so let, let me open the screen back up to make sure that everything's in view. I'm an old timer, so I consider this a beaver tail type jig right here, and it has a unique action. And when you rig it, you rig it where the tail is flat on this particular jig. Here's one right here that has a look at the action on the tail of that. Each and every one of these jigs have a different action. Now, believe it or not, I love this these little baits right here this one's probably about an inch long at times crappie feed on small stuff and this right here will shine above say a two inch grub or a two inch jig just in general little bitty stuff like that talking about little stuff here's some more that I use right here let me get them in vision right here these are bobby garlands they're an inch and a quarter long different colors I use these I don't know where I got this, and I've got a lot of them. It's a shad. Now I might look the action on that tail. I've caught a lot of crappie on that through the years. I have bags and bags of stuff. This is just a few. Well, folks, that's basically the basics. What I mean by that, there's a lot of different jigs out here on the market. And I didn't break out but just a few. I have a lot of jigs, like I said. And I use them in different ways. Jig head weights. You know, you just have to get out here, in my opinion. Uh, and you have to get uh, really study the conditions and try different jigs and jig styles, okay? I mean, everything that I've said is only opinion. It's things that works for me. As a fisherman, uh, I can't cover it all. There's no way because fishing, there's a lot to it. We'll have to do that on the water a little bit at a time because every day is different. Stay with me another minute or two, and I want to show you all something. Now, like I said, and it humbles me, on this channel, we get a lot of support. A lot of stuff is sent to me folks who watches this channel and this is made by Sam now Sam's from Alabama okay south from here and look what he made it's made out of cedar now that now stuff like this takes a lot of work to make folks I've been a cart I've done carpenter work for about 30 years I've quit now but uh and it says fish where the fish are so it's hanging above my door every time I go out from the workhouse right here or man cave I look at that and it gives me confidence to make y'all a good video. And I'm going to tell you what, I appreciate it, Sam. Uh, I can't tell you how much it, 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 it makes me feel because I know how much work is involved in this, the tools that you have to have. Hey, let's go look at the other one. Live for the thump. I got that one hanging up above my rods. Okay, and that's for a reason. You know, I want every one of these rods when I take them fishing. The only thing I'm focused on is I want that thing to be bending. I want the string to be stretching. That's the main part of it. I got him, got that hung up right by my bass. I caught in 1984 in Florida. Caught it flipping uh, with a red shad culprit. I just had to throw that in there. Remember, don't fish it when you can!
Don't go, bitch!